And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here. And today's starting pitcher, Tanner Howe. What should we keep an eye on here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Righty delivers. The punch out there, and one out now. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third, and that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Andres Jimenez stands in now and watches strike one. And a big swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Foul ball. It stays. Nothing to do. And out to center. Rafaela settles underneath it. He makes the catch. And there's two down. Look at the lineup. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Guardians fail to score. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now at Fenway. And towing the slab here, number 39. Well, they're going with the opener in this one, so this is an interesting... There's a swing and a drive. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. He'll touch them all. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Devers now. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Always exciting to see a laid off home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. And he deals. No question about this one. It's out of here. A gigantic blast. And they add on. It's 2-0. Really impressive hitting the ball that far going into the wind. Nothing was going to stop it from getting over the wall. Back to back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Now batting Tristan Casas. That one is absolutely belted. He brought it back. Batting four. The right Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup put together by manager Alex Cora. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, 
have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Now it's the DH. Rocketed out towards right center. Arias makes the grab on the run. Now the catcher up to hit, Connor Wong. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And it bangs off the monster. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Wastes no time there. Nice line drive to the pull That's side cool. right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton. That smash towards center. Arias makes the grab. And that is that. But two round trippers inning, the long ball was working. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. And we're back here at Fenway Park, top of the second. And now it's Josh Naylor and the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone build from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to come in their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. Will Brennan. Will Brennan now at the plate as he swings through strike one. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, Boop, they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with them. Misses inside. One and two to count. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's Esteban Florial. Swing it a foul straight back. Florial goes six foot one, 195 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican okay. Republic. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. They trail it here, 2-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the second. Pablo Reyes stands in as he turns on the rubber. And with that good live arm delivers. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And caught on the warning track. Outstanding catch commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to minimize that contact. That's a base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all